Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the um, uh, first module of IoT and in this module we have a few uh, set of questions that's what I'll be doing in each of the subjects see these are the set of questions which you need to know to score maximum marks in this uh, subject uh, rest of all you need not study much about that so let's discuss each of these questions one by one and the module will be over let's get uh, started and before starting make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so the first topic here we have is what is IoT okay IoT means there will be many things connected with each other that is called as IoT if you enter your home and you have sensors attached which can detect the temperature or you have the camera in which you can observe the surroundings based on that you can make some decisions and you can write some code to do something when something happens for example if you come to home and um you want uh, hot water to bath okay at that time you can set a code that if you enter home the uh, heater should start on and it should start heating the water like those things can be uh, done by using iot internet of things means interconnection of things next we have the genesis of iot that means what is the uh, path of iot where it started and now where it is okay four things you have to mention here the first is connectivity you remember in the 2000s when uh, the uh, internet started at that time people used to send emails to each other they used to talk with each other and that also so, uh, included web browsing okay these two things were present that was in the first era second it uh, got expanded to the industries wherein the people started doing the business things and you know, all like selling and buying things that is the e-commerce thing that happened and after that uh, the social media came finally now people are connected all over the world by using some uh, um, protocols and the technologies and those things uh, in which the data as well as the persons all both are connected and uh, that formed IOT okay so we are in the fourth era now so this is the genesis of IoT. You have to write about uh, these four uh, eras. And few more details are given here for the four uh, eras. You can go through it. Next, we have uh, IoT and digitization. See here, the next important topic is IoT challenges. Between that, also some topics are there. For your knowledge, I'll be just going through it, or else you can skip to IoT challenges. Okay, that is more important. So uh, IoT and digitization. IoT means focus on connecting things on the internet. In internet, the things are connected. That is called as IoT. For example, if you go to any mall at that time, they will be tracking you where you are present. Okay. Suppose that uh, this is the uh, map of the mall, and if you are present here, what all things you are buying, you will be most interested in that, right? There only you will be going. Uh, whatever you are interested, there that place you will be going. So they will be tracking which place you are going, and based on that, they will be changing their uh, surrounding things what they keep okay based on that uh, they can attract more uh, customers that is the IOT okay and digitization means making something digital for example before a camera uh, that there was a photo studio at that time camera was there and some things will happen like processing of the whole images now the digitization happened of the camera like that only taxi also before we used to go and manually book the taxi now we can uh, do it in all, uh, all our uber okay that is what is called digitization internet and digitization that is what is IOT and digitization okay next we have IOT impact see in 2003 uh, it was like 6.307 billion devices now uh, it has rise to 50 billion devices okay so there are four things where IOT has impacted self-driving car you all know what is self-driving car it will be censored it will see all its surroundings and based on that it will make decision how fast to go where to take turn when to put brake and what all to do connected factory means in factory what are the processing happening all those things will be connected and smart connected buildings means two or more buildings will be connected in buildings many things will be there right rooms will be there the kitchen bathroom hall and the corridor and the lights which when to be on when to be off the optimal uh, timings all those things will be present in smart connected buildings and uh, smart creature means we'll be assigning some sensors to some animals okay so we'll be observing the animal strength if some animal gets some disease we'll get to know the changes in the behavior like those things that is called a smart creatures more information is given here you can go through it after that we have the uh, convergence of IT and OT. IT means internet of uh, things, IT means uh, internet technology and OT means operational technology. Okay, see here it is operational technology, I'm not sure. But um, the thing is in both of these things, this is uh, dealing with the physical objects okay? and this is dealing with the software things. This is hardware, this is software. Both hardware and software are developed uh, parallelly and uh, merging of both of these gives rise to IoT. Okay because if you want to uh, run some code you need a hardware device like Arduino or any sensor right so these two things will be merged okay that is what is present here and the important thing is here IoT challenges okay 
so let's have a look uh the topics to cover i'll cut off this one then iot challenges is left okay let's have a look at iot challenges what are the challenges scalability okay like making it more scalable that is a challenge security privacy big data analytics the iot sensors you see i will give you an example in aeroplane right in aeroplane there will be many sensors attached okay just for a wing there will be thousand sensors attached each of these sensors will be generating ten thousands tens and thousands of uh gigabytes per second that much data is getting generated just by one uh wing of a uh, plane imagine the whole plane how much data is getting generated in terabytes or petabytes like that many flights are there every day they are traveling that much data is getting generated that is the big data and analytics that much data is to be handled by the iot interoperability if there are different operating system they have to be handled uh, the iot what code we wrote it should be operable in all of those systems like that code we have to write okay that is also another challenge here so that was about the iot challenges um moving on we have the comparing iot architectures before that there's an important topic which is regarding the drivers behind the new network architectures what is driving the new new architecture okay so um like this is the scale this is a challenge so the uh, scaling of iot is a big challenge so how it is um like what are the things needed to change that means if you want to make something scalable what we need to include in our code ipv4 address space has reached its exhaustion so ipv6 is needed like that only for security also there's some more better security approach and uh, for all of these uh, challenges there is some better uh, solution okay so i'll not go into details of this better solution just you can go through it just for your uh, reference what it means drivers means what we have to change to make it more better okay just that you have to remember then coming to comparing iot architecture three architectures okay the first one is the uh, m2m architecture in m2m architecture there will be three categories here you will be having the application layer where you will be having all the application and the code written and here you will be having the services layer which will be connecting all those application layers see these things are there right on top of that uh, this uh, these things has come common service layer communication technologies communication network communication device and the hardware all these things come as the um, protocols on top of it okay and by using these two we'll be able to run the code once we run the code we have to connect different devices all th those same things are written here connecting of different devices it was network layer so this is the network layer m2m architecture is basically these uh, three things okay these three things you have to explain in depth next we have the w o uh, iot wf okay iot wf means iot world forum in this uh, seven layers are there physical devices which are the physical hardware devices they are connected and we do the edge computing we get some data from it the data is accumulated as a storage and the abstraction is done means the relevant data is only shown and then the application part is here and collaboration process means the final uh, apps which we use okay so basically this is the standardized architecture you have to explain each of these things in depth okay then what we have um, the simplified iot architecture this is the third one simplified iot architecture in these two categories are there functional core stack and data management compute stack those two things if you know the module will be over okay so let's discuss about what is iot functional stack and iot management stack in iot uh, functional stack the functions happen and management stack means the data will be managed okay so here we have applications communication network and the sensors so by name itself you can understand application means we'll be doing some code uh, things and net network means connecting those things with the actual data and sensors means which actually fetch the data suppose there is a cctv camera whatever you do that will be captured here that is called as a sensor actuator means after sensing something any action it is to be done for example actuator can be if you go for a wireless uh, you come out of the washroom at that time uh, in some companies it will be there right you uh, put your hand like this and the hot air will come Th those things are actuators it will sense as well as do some action okay that is called as actuators and cloud fog and edge these are the three types of computing in cloud what we have is the data which is getting stored at a remote location fog means it will be having the data at a remote location but it will do the connectivity uh, things okay edge means real-time computation okay so this way the keywords which i told you we have to write in the exam and for more information you can go through these things here uh, in depth uh, they have mentioned all of these things what is ga uh, gateways backhaul network transport layer you need not go in much depth because in eighth semester you just have to I mean, know the keywords and you have to uh, elaborate in your own words okay because if you go in depth uh, regarding these things there will be a uh, shortage of time okay so um make sure you know these concepts very well and for more information you can go through here that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one